And good evening, folks. Welcome to the final segment of our 420 birthday marathon, Lisa the Joyful. I LP'd this um, like a year or so, a year and change ago, and um, yeah, I figured it may be a good time to <laughs> play through it again. <laughs> Thank you, Uber Dits. Once again. That joy number. Let's begin. This is a version of Lisa the Joyful with a slightly modified soundtrack. Now, we may not hear the modifications right away, but I promise you they're there. This is a game that takes a little bit to get going, just like Lisa the Painful. We need to set up what's happening in this game. And to start, we're going to see Brad before he died, before Buddy escaped. We just started Joyful, Zinc. You're just in time. Brad instilled into her that people are always going to hurt you. Really wanted her to know that you can't trust anyone. We never saw any of this with Brad. So this is kind of a big revelation and kind of fills in a lot about Buddy's state of mind. Oh, hi. He had to teach her. My daughter will not be weak. My daughter, my daughter. Next time, he won't be tied up. So, if you watched my LP of, of Joyful, you know that I'm like a little down on it because it's not the same kind of game as Painful, but there's a lot of strong story beats in this game. There's some really good moments. Meanwhile, some people are talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
These two are somewhat concerned for Buddy. Somewhat. Not entirely. Not enough for them to do anything directly, but they're noting that Rando might be able to help her. These two are ending their partnership. This harkens back to uh, a conversation you saw for doing a joyless run. You had a conversation between the same two characters. This is Yato and Buzzo. Fast forward to the present. Right after the transformation. Starting right in the middle. Help me. That's legs. You know, legs. We flash back to the end of Lisa 1, or Lisa, uh, the painful where. Brad is mutated, and Buddy is sleeping, and Brad was creeping up on her. Sorry, legs. Now, Buddy is a TP character. She has a decisive stab that has a quick time. It's hard to hit. Her regular stab is okay. The timed hits are pretty tough. It's one of the things that kind of makes the battle system a little bit of a drag, because most of your damage is dependent on this. Missed it. Oh, man, come on. Hey. He warned you about those pills. Why are you doing all this to him? You're free now. Buzzo speaking from experience here. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. And Buddy realizes here that Buzzo isn't after her. You slip up at all, this world will tear you apart. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Bye, Brad. Buddy is level five. She's a wanderer. She is aching to explore her life, her power, and her freedom. She has had a rough, sheltered life thus far. It's not going to get any better. We start where we ended, Lisa the Painful, here where the big battle happened. Rando's army is destroyed. Rando is here. Yes, Buddy is very fast, and can run, and can jump. Very smart.
She can also climb really fast. Watch those knees, Cash Money Terry in air. Terry's still leaving signs. Even though he's probably dead at this point. Hi, guys. I like this song a whole bunch. It's the Amazing Buddy! Is a bit of a creep. Ha. Huh. Enough goofing. Just literally just me to these people. He's not a very good person. Huh? Rando lives. Oh, shoot! It's Rando! Ha. Mm. <laughs> You're only as good as your worst day. He just fought Brad and was almost completely destroyed by him. Also, yeah, his voice is kind of weak. He's not good at keeping other people in check. Rando is not confident right now. His mask was destroyed, but maybe he had another one lying around. Who knows? Bolo Bagaguchi. The Golden Opportunist. That's this guy. He's a big creepo, but I do like his theme song. Also, hello. Oh my. Yep, time to go. The mutants are uh, out in force recently. It's weird. Rando insists that he's fine, despite being beat to shit. Rando begging Buddy to not be mad at Brad. Buddy has heard enough of that. Sticky didn't hurt you, right? I put a lot of trust in him. Did Sticky do anything? So from that... Also, I'm back. Hello. So we, we did put on the table during... during the previous grips that it's not clear whether or not Brad realizes that Rando is Dusty. No, I don't think he ever realized. I think he was so The uncle's up. probably figured it out. Probably. Sticky might have known. Sticky is smarter than he lets on. Rick, maybe not. But this line here. He told me lots of stories, and he cried a lot. He never touched me. I will never, I will never miss the opportunity to say Sticky did nothing wrong. Aside from, you know, betraying Brad, you know, if you count that as a bad thing. 
really none of those people were at all correct in what they were doing. They were all trying to solve a problem that was impossible. Need help from, from some friends. Rando says he wants peace and growth. Oh, that's a, a raving loon. He was in previous parts of the stream. Rando wants to take a shot at that whole, you know, humanity not dying out thing. Only you can do it. Trust him? Do we trust Rando, folks? Trust him? Let's see if see people trusting him. Rando is the only one we can trust. Rando is the only one Buddy can trust. Rando is in control. This doesn't affect too much. It might affect the ending text that you see, but it's not it's not a huge thing. Good, we got a Rando ration and a mask. Also, Buddy is tired. That's not depression, that's tiredness. Here's Rando. Rando's on our team. We know what he can do. He's basically a Brad. Also, he's got a badass belt buckle. Pants are secure as traded. fuck. Sad dad for sad brother. Yeah. A true warrior. Regardless of what he wants, he feels compelled to protect you. There you go. Yeah, so we don't have withdrawal, but we do have tiredness. Hey, guys. Just don't mind me. Just passing through. Oh, holy shit! Rando. And Lil Rando. Tiny Rando. Of course, Rando strolling up with a tiny person on his shoulders, you know, I don't, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want any trouble, is not gonna do it. Rando strolling up and having to talk. Is not gonna After work. his army was just taken out. He has no army right now. He is... Not powerless, but he does not have the influence he used to have anymore. He is powerful, but he doesn't have mystique anymore. His rep has been destroyed. Yeah. Also, he got killed by some weird... Or he got beaten by some weird bald guy. You think I'm stupid? <laughs> that little randy -o on his shoulders. All right, first real encounter of this game is actually kind of kind of dangerous. This could go wrong, so let's hope I hit those uh, those stabs. Got to go for the throat. All right, Wawa and WSS. Okay, good enough. Yeah, hit Rando. Please don't touch, buddy. And yes, the, the entire rando army either died or fled during yep. Brad's punishment. They are gone. Nice crit. Getting some lucky hits here. And some lucky dodges. Okay, that's bad. Good. Rando is strong enough to do this. 
Hang in there, buddy. Crit. Very good. Nice. some really good crits here. Nice. Ah. Got him. Not bad. Two levels for Buddy. Perfume, Mystery Jerky, 34 mags. All right, handled. But Rando wants to know, where did you learn to fight? He never showed me anything about shoving a machete into someone's throat and twisting. Look at these mutants here that are just hanging around. That face glob directly above you, that's great. Yeah, it's really good. I gotta wonder, how much of a rest of a mutant was that even attached to? Like, maybe those tiny legs over there? Or maybe that's just the whole thing? Yeah, I don't know. He just might have a really tiny, he might have really tiny legs and a really big bulbous face. That would kind of own as far as Joy Mutant designs go. Joy Mutants are like one of the coolest things I've seen in a game. Just a real good manifestation of like hedonism and lack of lack of control and you know addiction and all of those themes just kind of wrapped up in body horror. It's yeah, so, so we effective. can do some quick lore review then while we're arriving at the wall. Yeah, the wall. So here we're in a post-apocalyptic scenario where a good while ago, suddenly out of nowhere, all women vanished from at least this area where the story is taking place. Maybe the world? Who knows? We don't care about the rest of the world. We're just here. Olaith matters. In Olaith. And so, you know, violence sweeps through, and, you know, warlordism, gang fighting, and what have you. Except for Buddy, who is somehow the one girl who still exists. She was a baby around the time of the apocalypse. And now she's here. Yep. First game was about a failure of a man who adopted this child and tried to protect it and failed. Along the way, we did manage to meet some of the characters on this list. We met Hawk Hollywood, Han Tsunami, and Buffalo Van Dyke, and we... Well, we didn't kill Buffalo Van Dyke, but he's presumed dead now, after the incident with Brad. And to, yeah, the actual question there. So, also circulating around here is a mysterious, powerful narcotic called Joy. Which eventually causes its users to mutate into strange, stretchy flesh beasts. Yes. We know that those were part of some military-grade experiments in the area, where they tried to make people into weapons by having them numb to pain and stuff, and, uh... Well, it turns out it does more than that. It does that. You know, Resident Evil style, it does that. You can make a really good soldier that way, but you can't control them too well. Joy is powerful and addictive and eventually does things. Yeah. So here we have the list. These are the people who've run Olaith. These are the warlords. The top ten warlords of Olaith. What about you? So Rando was separate from all of this. He managed to have an independent army that was respected and feared. At least he used to. Now that you're here, everyone's trying to kill each other. More so than usual.
I'm glad that they referenced that, you know, some people that you've met actually run. Buffalo Van Dyke and his football team are a leading warlord in Olathe. The brothers Hernandez are a big deal. Yeah, they're pretty high up there. Well, it's because of their it's because of their trucks. Yes. They're not, they're not known for their strength. <laughs> Yeah, having a truck is a kind of strength. It is, yeah. They're they're suppliers. Well. Many days later. He's going to be furious. You might recognize one of these boys. We've seen one of them before. Um, he was the leader of Dojo Village, uh, Bob Friday. He's the guy who runs away from Tiger Man, and you can buy a thousand mag scroll from him if you have the money. Also, oh, yes, further lore, Rando does not have a face. He yes. got his face sawed off by another person before the disaster. When they were both students of martial arts under Brad Armstrong. Yes. What happened to you besides the usual? Well, she's extremely violent. But we had to kind of do a thing. Wait, you can't do that to her. What does that tell her? But she was so violent. Well, that's not all. Dale is dead. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to inform you, but Dale is no longer with us. Fuck. Fuck. Not Dale. I know. We killed him. Well, while she was tied up, he... Well, it wasn't anything serious, but... And Rando immediately, like, just, holy shit, what, where, where is she? Yeah, don't rip Dale. Don't, no, don't rest in peace, Dale. Dale got what he fucking deserved. Dale is fucking dead. His, his own people turned on him because they were like, we can't have this. And you know what? Good on them. It's like the one good thing they did. Dale was just executed for crimes. Yep, did a crime. Did you forget? She's not, she's not yours, dude. That's not the plan. It's not how this goes. Like, these guys seem to have okay intentions. But, well. Rando is very tired. Yeah, they are well-meaning, but they extremely did the wrong thing. 
they messed up. Uh, Zinc Pico, I usually post um, my schedule on Twitter, uh, also on my Discord, um, but that's actually n not public, so I guess, yeah, kind of makes it hard for people to get to know that, huh? But yeah, Buddy has already been to work here. <laughs> The fat one got away. Bob got away. <laughs> Mr. Potitz, thank you for that follow. And Buddy is just, I, look, this is all people want to do to me. They put me in a room. They make me stay there. She doesn't want to be locked up anymore. Uh, Zinc Pico, uh, actually, really, to answer your question, my, mo the vast majority of my streams are on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Tuesday evenings and Saturday afternoons. <laughs> And Rando lies. We're unsure if Rando is capable of lying, but I think Rando is actually afraid of her at this point. No, I don't know these people. Rando is kind of starting to realize what happened to Buddy. Blue Bomber, thank you for that follow. You need to rest. Then we get to work. Work? Just sleep. Meanwhile, in Dreamland, we know this sprite. We've seen this sprite before. I don't think there's anything off to the left. Is there something off to the left? Let's find out. You, you piqued my curiosity now. Who remembers who this is? Nothing. Okay. That's right, it's Bernard. Thank you, Tuxedo Ted, for that sub, the Twitch Prime. Yeah, this is Bernard, also known as Buzzo. He is... Highly motivated by something in his past. What are we doing? Buddy knows she's strong. She's not afraid. Thank you, Tuxedo Ted, for your birthday wishes. Regardless of whether or not they make it. Buddy wants to be on top. 
Buddy wants to be on the list. Buddy wants no one else on that list. That list is just gonna be Buddy. A list of one. What about your face and the scars on your body? Aren't you afraid? The alternative is just living in someone's cage. I really like this line when she goes, my body, I don't, I don't feel anything, but it's my head, my heart, that's what hurts. Like, she's just kind of realizing the difference between physical and mental anguish, and she doesn't know how to deal with it, because she is a kid, and kids don't know how to deal with that. This brackets off with their moment earlier of, wait, you learned to fight from Brad? That's not the Armstrong style. Oh no, no, Rando. She has learned the style. The style. She knows the art. It's a really good, it's really good because it's everything that is the opposite of Brad. There is nothing flashy about it. There is, it is pure efficiency, pure brutality. He doesn't care about his martial arts. He doesn't want to pass on his martial arts to her. He just wants her to cut people's throats out. Because that's the only way she's going to be safe. And Rando just goes, you're acting crazy. Rando, you're starting to remind me of a lot of people. People that have been killed by me or around me. You can either sit back and watch me do it, or you can join me. But you won't stop me. Rando, you have no idea. Rando is joined, but where in control? Let's take a quick rest. Rando does not rest, he watches over us. It's time to start taking names off of a list. We've got 34 mags. And I see Chester there. Rest at campfires to avoid tiredness or to refresh tiredness. Get a couple of those. those. Use joy. Can't jump that. So, here's something we can do. We can remove our mask and fight people. 
What? Okay, yeah, folks commenting earlier on Buddy's reasoning. Buddy's reasoning is perfectly sound. Everyone in this shithole is out to get her. Yeah. The world is her enemy, so she will defeat it. She, she is going to fight everyone to be safe. and win. She's she wants to be safe. How am I gonna be safe when I can't trust anyone? I just have to kill everyone. It's sound. It makes sense. So this game doesn't have a joyful, or a joyful, a pain mode, uh, which is for a pretty good reason. You're supposed to take... Oh shit, I forgot, my mask. Oh well. Whoopsie. No escape. Time to stab him. Forgot to wear my mask. Anyway, there's no with You were expected to use joy. Yes. Let's see, W A S. Clesselier, thank you for that stuff. Ah. I am the liquor. Okay, so... Normally I don't kill that guy, I leave him alive, so he can provide valuable things to me. But he's dead now. Oh well. Let's put our mask back on before I cause any more trouble with people I'm supposed to keep alive. Because if I walked into this screen without my mask, I'd be dead. I can tell you that right now. This is a very hard optional fight. We're gonna try it later, not right now. Yeah, too bad I don't. I can't get just a big stash of liquor. Uh, I don't have. I don't have a song for this. But here's a jam for you. I'll let you hear the song. They're playing the Yato song. They're playing the trumpet song. Yeah, they're covering the song they hear everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I like to let that... Gotta let that play. It's important. Alright, so I killed the bartender. Whoops. My bad. Lucrative tea? What is going on? Yeah, thanks for hanging out, Zink. Good to see you. Yeah, so there's a secret here. Don't feel bad. Because it leads to here. A joy lab. We'll check this out later. Thank you, Black Jacket. We need a joy mask to get in there, so we're gonna have to find that. That's pretty late game. Late DLC. How screwed am I? I'm not, I'm not screwed. I should be fine. I forget what he sells. 
What's this? Oh, right. I can't make that jump. That's a special thing that we can do later on. Yeah, like, without... You're still okay without booze. You can still beat the game. Anyway, I think we should go after, uh... Should go after Lardy first. Oh, and I never knew this, but we can attack this guy. Yeah! Don't worry, we'll hear this. We're gonna we're gonna hear the proper version of this. I may have altered some of the soundtrack. Uh, you may know that there is a uh, a pretty burgeoning subculture of Death Grips mashups with Lisa music. Oh, piss! <laughs> I love that. I love these sprites. These are great. Ah, I missed it. Oh, no. All right. Now I gotta hit this. There we go. Hang in there, Randa. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Good. Recover. Get rid of one of them. All right. Set him on fire, maybe? There we go. Nailed it. You know what? I just remembered that more fights start after this, so let's heal up. Let's get our points back before we even end this fight. Buddy is already faster than Rando. She's gained quite a bit. She's got excellent stat growth because, you know, main character and all that. We can use this truck. Fortunately, that means... Culture shock, future shock, fuck yourself, chuck yourself. Useless information occupies every open space inside your skull. You know what's going on every day, every night, every week, it's so international. Upside down, cross in the jumbotron, wait up. Hold, Hold on. on. Blowing them threats off my pump, say what? You're, You're wrong. wrong. Switch stands, face plan, they pump fire starters. Flatlander, plug puller, those back turbulence starters. You speak in abbreviations because real life conversation moves too slow. Yeah, the media's creation, yeah, your free will has been taken and you don't know. Fuck yourself, choke yourself. You egg sucking dog. This information occupies every open space inside your skull. You know what's going on every day, every night, everywhere. We're so international. Upside down, cross in the jumbotron. Wait up. This worked Hold out really on. good. I'm blowing them threats off my pump. Say what? You're wrong. Swiss dance, face plan, they pump fire starters. Flatlander, plug puller, those back turbulence charters. You speak in abbreviations because real life conversation moves too slow. The media's creation, yeah, your free will has been taken and you don't know. Oh man, I forgot to mention. Fuck yourself, choke yourself. This is all by Poolis. B O O L U S. You can find him on YouTube or SoundCloud. Please search him if you want to hear more great mashups like this. Not all of them are Lisa, they're for various video games, all kinds of things really. Not just Death Grips. He's done quite a few things, seems to be very talented at mashing things up. Upside down, cross in the jumbotron, wait up. Hold on, blowing them threats off my pump, say what? <laughs> oh, I didn't do the... I didn't make a uh, low-pass version. Hello.
All right, start it over. Culture shock, future shock, fuck yourself, chuck yourself. Useless information occupies reopened space inside your soul. You know what's going on every day, every night, everywhere's weird, so when an astronaut. Wahoo McMillan. Upside down cross on the jumbo tron, wait up. Hold on, blowing them threats off my pump, say what? You're wrong. Swiss stands, face plan, napalm fire starters, flat land, a plug puller, those back to villains charters. You speak in a brief. Bury me with my nudie, Max. <laughs> Culture shock, future shock, fuck yourself, chuck yourself. I love that it just starts up again after every fight. Space inside your skull, you know. Soup's on, baby. It's him. It's time. Let's see his other moves. Okay. Oh man, that's so good. What a good 666 bedrooms in a good neighborhood. Look up um Bullis did two albums. Uh, of of Death Grips mashups. One is called Joyless Pit. The other is called X Ex Painful. Uh, let me let me post those for you guys right now to show you where I got a lot of the music for this. Why this is even happening? Um, here, there is one, and there is the other one. Check those out. Check out Bullis, please. Quite good at what they do. Fancy perfume. Thank you, Gary. Good to see you again, Gary. And we got the truck keys, which means now we can fast travel. We could turn back. Stop. Here's some TNT. Free TNT. Also, here's a really neat thing. It's it's hard to see, but look on top of the truck as I walk next to it. You're only going to get, like, one frame. So look really carefully. Brad was up there. He was watching. Oh, there he is, right there. Are you Lardy? I love this. I love this Hernandez brother. The one Hernandez brother with hair. I do like the version of Shardy Shanty in the background here. Buddy, it's okay. It's him. It's not Death Grips. However, this is also by Bulis.
It works. Oh wow, he's kind of hitting hard. Four rando rations. Might be a good time to use one, actually, if you're going to be a problem. I can't believe this is happening. I gotta keep those points up. Alright, he's not fucking around. See, each time we defeated one of the Brothers Hernandez, their life energy distributed to the surviving brothers. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is, is the, the strongest one. Oh, wow. My brothers, take me back, please. Okay, so that one was Mouth Wide Open for what? That one's a separate track you can find on YouTube, also by Bulis. Three levels for Buddy. One level for Rando. <laughs> Discovering Mouth Wide Open for what was what like, inspired me to do, to play this again. Because I was like, man, I've got some songs for Joyful that it would be fun to do a thing, but I'm missing Mouth Wide Open. I don't have a good mashup for that. And then I found it, and it was by the same damn guy. Also, hey, they helped a lot of people, you know. Don't care. This isn't about helping people. This is about survival. <laughs> Right, I can jump that. The road takes its toll. What? She had a she had a good Mega Man Sprite comic. What? There. Rando just trying to be. Hey, wouldn't you rather do anything else than kill the last remaining warlords of humanity? Presumably, as far as we know, we could do anything else. Could build a home somewhere safe. Could play. You don't even know like what playing gardening? means. She doesn't. Hmm. She might like gardening. You ever tried woodworking? Yeah. You can but do that with knives. There's lots of things you can do with knives. <laughs> you like jazz? You want this trumpet? Play this song for me. Yato hands her a trumpet with some sheet music. Here, learn this. Also, yeah, why not take over Lardy's empire? Supply lines are yours. That's good. That's a big deal. I mean, probably every other group will collapse on you then, but if you can fight them off. But Buddy doesn't know anything about the old Olaith. This is her normal. Her nature.
Time to go play. Let's do it. I feel ready for the day. Oh, not wearing my mask right now. I don't want to kill you because you're my supplier. All right, let's go after Vega Van Damme. Only kill him if you can trick him into revealing where he's keeping all the Diet Cola. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought there was one there. No, it's from the other side. Oh my god, I just rested. It's fine. It's fine. That was my tiredness kicking in. Hello. This very stretchy Maybe boy. If someone hadn't catch up all night talking about jazz. <laughs> Yeah, the new the new Joy Mutant theme is great. Is really good. Also, we still have three hits of Joy, but those are full heals. I should save those. Gonna have to hit harder than that. Too early. No, no insta-kill in this. Here it is, here comes the motif. Not a hard mutant, but also worth next to nothing. Can I give her the belt buckle? Oh shit. Oh man, I had no idea. I had no idea, thank you for suggesting that. Uh, who said that? Whoever said that, thank you. Flash is literally Flash somebody. Get them all flustered. Shadowy figure. Can sometimes fluster them. Fail. <laughs> Reminder that she's already sustained, you know, some pretty extensive scarring of her face and body. Hello. Cooper. Let's decisively stab Cooper. Wait, why did I- Oh, I- Weird, I did the weird thing for, uh, Rando. I didn't do the hits. Yeah, hanging with Mr. Cooper. Here he is. You know. Oh, wow. You. Your old buddy Coop. There he goes. Yeah, he's noodling around. Buddy is just a monster. Oh, that's a big hit. Okay. 
Yeah, I think Cooper was one of the Joy Mutants at the art museum, which means he got up and walked away. He got tired of being art. Oh no! Maybe he's being loaned to another gallery. Yeah. He's on his way to the loop. Yeah, it's a traveling exhibit. Yeah, he's extremely weak to Buddy because he's all neck. A bunch of people are around here, but they're all mush, as you would expect. And we need our TNT to get through here, actually, so you have to do... You have to do Farty before Vega. Lucrative tea. Someone's leaving us stuff and messages. Yeah, we could have just kicked those boards in. No, I did not fight the band yet. I showed off the band, but I did not fight them. I will attempt to fight them after Vega. The band is really but hard he, to fight. But he really doesn't have a full tool kit yet. No. Let's fight this guy. You can jump on him and insta-kill him. You can just surprise him. Joey Viper. What you got? Terrible aim. Nice. We'll hear this a few times. The one that's not a boss song. Here we have Pink Snowland? Hard to tell what this texture is. What's up, boys? Johnny Walrus and Gary Panther. So, here's a fun thing. Um, if you try to fight John... Or if you tried to fight Johnny Walrus uh, when the game first came out, it was impossible because he had infinite HP. If you try to fight a Walrus, it's impossible. Don't. They have a limitless thing. The only completely invulnerable being in nature. Joy up! This one is, uh... Mm, what, was this, what was this one called? It's on Joyless Pit. Um... Homeland Houdini is the name of it. Soup. Soup's on, baby. What a good song for, uh, for, for Gary the Hot Soup. Sir? Sir? Wait for it. <laughs> this is what my real voice sounds like. Now we got throat lunge. Boom. 
Blarg! <laughs> we just tapped the guy and he just went Blarg! <laughs> it just died. This dude was not ready to fight. I mean, you're... Well, whatever. We won't correct you. Dig Rhino. I'm still joyed. You're gonna have a bad time here. It's kind of hard. Yeah. <laughs> Destroyed. It's time for Vega. Vega can be a tricky fight. I just, I only realized like way after I first played this game that this guy rhymes everything. Sir, please. A tiny rando? <laughs> this guy is his own hype man. Please stop with that shit. All right, Fatty Peach Dog, Timmy Applecat, and Vega Van Dam. Good start. Oh boy. We got three of these. Let's use it. Nailed it. He is out. He is so out. Oh, that was... Ooh, almost didn't get that. Oh, some huge hits. Okay, he's on fire. Oh, didn't. Wrong selection. Think we've got your number. Very nice. Punched him until he exploded. That went very well because Buddy, I landed all of my hits with Buddy on the two dudes. 
just kind of cut that immediately. That was unexpected. One last. Uh, this will be the last segment, so it'll be going for probably another hour and a half or another two hours. So yeah, we're going to finish Joyful tonight, and that'll be the marathon. Yeah, let's get some rest. The timed hits are very fast. If it looks like I'm if if I'm making them look easy, I apologize because they're not easy to get. It took me a long time to to figure that out, to do it reliably, and even so. Again with this. Wait. Okay, is that going to apply after? How does this work? How does how does that work? Also, Rando is just I'm running out of options. Starting to get real. My real name is Dustin Armstrong. Dusty. That's Brad's name. <laughs> but he doesn't know what adopted means. It's complicated. My dad beat the absolute shit out of me. Almost killed me. Yeah, hopefully it's when the rest chime plays that, that the stats reset. Rando respects him very much. Even till the end. That's why when he saw him again, he started crying. He didn't like me calling him dad either. Yeah, he never wanted to be a father. So. I guess we're family then. Maybe you could start listening to your older brother more? How about it? Hey, Tuxedo Ted, thank you for that gift sub. Much appreciated. She doesn't know how to engage with this, so she just kind of brushes it off. Oh, hey, Taco Salad, what's up, dude? Taco Salad uh, is the guy who made Hopeful, and Ho uh, Lisa the Hopeful is a damn good time. It's free, and you should go download it. It's got a bunch of great music in it that you've never heard before. All right. Two down. Got some more mags there. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time we go after the band. Yeah, I never beat the biker either. The biker was it was insane. I got pretty close, but I could not. I just couldn't finish him off. Okay, so, if we take off our mask here. Let's do it. Destiny Woods, Jimmy Winner, Candy Simmons, Larry Cosmos, Cherry Fleet, Burt Tornado, Sapphire Dawn, 
and peen dillies. Peen dillies. Peen? <laughs> what? Now, who do I go for first? Probably... This is a really hard fight. Look how strong these guys are. It's extremely important for me to hit my shots here. If I don't, I can't win. Literally cannot win. Hail Satan. All right. Do it. Great crit. Yeah, so the dancers are the main attackers, and the musicians are supports. Yeah. Alright. Uh-oh. Not good if Buddy is pissed. Does that mean she loses her attack? No, still have it. Damn it, missed it. Oh boy. We've got every status effect here. Yes. Oh no. Hmm. Can I get Buddy back up successful? Oh, I have fancy perfume. I maybe can. Yeah, you're fine now. Yeah, we're still. We're still in this. Buddy is fully charged, and you've gotten through two of them. It might take a while, but I think we'll get through this. you on fire. Very good. <laughs> I love Cowbell Guy. He just confuses himself. There we go. Getting consistent. Yeah! God, they have firebombs, too. Yep, halfway there. I'd say we're more than halfway there, because we got most of their offense down. Yeah, Bert Tornado has a firebomb, but it's not very strong. Sapphire Dawn is out. Peen Dillies, I'll leave you for last. That's my promise to you. For your sweet cowbell solo.
No. Slip by me. Yeah, this went slightly better than I was expecting. I, I was... I thought it would be a bit harder to stabilize, but... Fancy Perfume actually helped me. Still fumbling a couple of things. Really, that's your decisive damage, so you really need to hit that. Also, we're burning, so we should do this quickly. Okay. As promised, I have left you to die last. Oh, a huge hit! Just completely explodes Peen Dillies. Peen Dillies, you will be remembered. We got eight unique items. And 172 mags. Just here, have some money. Thank you. I'll take it. The band was popular. Yeah. Got a lot of tips. Save our game. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh shit. Okay, now we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> 5,000 experience, though. Come on, 256 mags, even though I have nowhere to go shopping? Come on, it's almost like I'm gonna have to... Yeah. <laughs> no, that was not on purpose. I'm just an idiot. Was not wearing my mask. All right, let's take a quick, very brief break before we come back for the final segment of the night of Lisa Joyful featuring Death Grips. <laughs> 